Uh, well, uh, uh, thank you everyone for being here today. Uh, to start our discussion off, I believe it's uh, important to start where all of us uh, un understand, and this is the composting. Uh, composting, uh, we know, is uh, a process of decomposing organic solids uh, into humus-like material known as compost. The important thing there is that you have is aerobic process. So uh, the little schematic there actually kind of summarizes that uh, if you have organic matter surprised with a light amount of oxygen and you have the relevant mi microorganisms in that system, you actually initiate the, uh, the process of composting. Uh, and uh, the products of uh, that process, uh, one is uh, carbon dioxide, water, and heat. And uh, the final product is compost. And, and basically, when you see composting going on, uh, the, you see uh, people putting a probe in there, temperature probe in there. Once they sense the heat, they know that the process is cooking. Uh, on the other hand, uh, farming composting is similar to composting, uh, but uh, with incorporation of earthworms in the process so that they, they work together uh, with microorganisms. In general, the earthworms uh, will consume, break down the organic matter, providing more surface area for microbes to thrive. Uh, so the kind of uh, accelerates that process. Uh, farming infiltration, which, which is uh, the focus of our subject today, uh, is similar to farming composting, but the substrate is liquid rather than uh, solid. Uh, it's worthwhile to note that atoms dislike heat, uh, so farming composting is done in small layers or heaps that uh, do not allow heat to build up. And the products, the two products from that process are basically uh, earthworms. Uh, you have an increase in that, they produce and you have more uh, earthworm biomass. And the other important uh, product is a farming compost, farming compost, which, which con consists of castings or earthworm poop and uh, part of the undigested uh, substrate. Uh, how uh, what earthworms utilized? Uh, uh, they can be used for as fishing or fish baits. Uh, uh, it, it's some of this, we have research that shows that uh, the earthworm meal is a potential protein supplement for livestock, animals, and poultry, and if I may add, also fish. Uh, so therefore, these are these two are actually uh, additional. Uh, potential income uh, streams from this process. Uh, 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 the farming compost is used uh, uh, just like uh, compost or uh, for that matter uh, chemical fertilizers. Uh, but research also indicates that uh, it has additional hormone-like compounds which accelerate plant growth making it uh, more superior to the conventional compost. Uh, the farming compost systems uh, range in size from very small worm beans uh, un found under the counter. Uh, and these structures have one thing in common, they are shallow to ensure that uh, no heat buildup because atoms do not, do not like the heat. Uh, may also have a, a, a collector for castings as well as a, a receiver for any leachage that might come from that process, uh, commonly known as uh, the uh, farming tea. Uh, basically, they start as if you look at the extreme left uh, at the bottom there, they usually start with as a small pile. You keep on adding material, and the worms keep come, uh, moving up to consume that material. Uh, then uh, you also have what they, you, you uh, refer to as medium warm, warm beds, which can actually be put or kept indoors or outdoors. Uh, uh, and obviously you notice that uh, in the pictorials there that uh, you have covering, one kind of covering or the other, uh, either a tarpaulin or um, uh, 
plastic papers or just uh, boards to ensure that you do not you do not have uh, uh, rain getting into that. Again, this, the common feature is that they are shallow, they are shallow structures to ensure no heat buildup. And obviously then you have to provide also a way of uh, collecting richard uh, at the bottom of those structures. If, and finally, we have the very large warm beds, uh, mostly uh, built in enclosures or shattered from weather elements. Uh, so these are like uh, the common uh, windrows that we, we are familiar with from composting, but they, they only happen to be shallow and, and, and long. Uh, and the common feature is, is again, uh, to make sure that uh, you do not have uh, weather elements getting in there and, and the, the, pilot, the piling up is not that high to discourage heat buildup. The uh, farming filtration system, on the other hand, uh, is, is, is similar to what uh, you're familiar in terms of uh, trickling filters. It's a fairly new technology developed within the last two decades. Uh, so basically, it's, you find that it's made up of a med media bed comprising of sand, fine gravel, medium or coarse gravel, as shown in the picture on the left there. And then at the top there, you have the, the sprinklers that kind of irrigate uh, the wastewater onto the, uh, the, the filtration bed. Uh, again, just like the, the Farming uh, composting, the seeds are aerobic, and the worms uh, enhance uh, that condition by through their movement and burrowing activities uh, that is normal with the worms. Uh, these systems are considered low cost technology because they do not have any moving parts, just plumbing work and a few pumps to move the liquid. And uh, a, a note there at the bottom is that uh, besides the, the farming compost, the earthworms, the farming filters produce uh, cleaner treated water that is usually used for to clean uh, more manure from the manure alleys and can also be used to irrigate in larger amounts since it has less nutrients. Uh, they also come in different configurations, uh, uh, these farming filter systems. Uh, they could have multiple layers uh, or just a, a, a couple of layers. Uh, the most important thing uh, is that uh, to make sure that uh, the, the, the wastewater stays long enough uh, within the bed uh, to, to allow uh, microorganisms to act on it. Uh, the, these systems uh, have mostly been used for treating municipal, domestic, and industrial waste waters. So we know quite a lot about uh, those systems in treating uh, those kinds of waste waters. What is relatively new is uh, they treat they use in the treatment of livestock waste water. Uh, and uh, caveat there again is that we know that uh, just like for the other waste water, they can only be used for uh, or the applicable mostly for treating livestock operation, operations uh, using water to collect manure. Uh, at Washington State University, we have recently evaluated uh, one of these systems uh, uh, is, is on a pilot scale level. Uh, this unit was manufactured by Biofitro which is actually the only company in North America that is currently uh, manufacturing uh, and managing this kind of uh, uh, systems. Uh, the next presenter, uh, who is Gilbert, was mainly involved in this evaluation and uh, will next present the performance of this system at treating daily wastewater.